Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I remain your host, Tago Joseph. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I was able to achieve this liquify effect in Photoshop. Without further ado, let's dive into this video. So we'll have to create a canvas on which we'll be uh, working with. So I'll be using this setting my unit in pixels, 1080 by 1350 to be precise. Resolution can be set on 300, color mode set on RGB. Uh, you can set this on a white background and click on the create button so over here we have our photoshop workspace and the first thing i would like to do is to create a solid fill color okay and uh, use a color of around something of this nature like this click on the ok button okay so i'll pick my text to call the ellipse uh text to uh so i'll pick so I'll pick my shape to call the ellipse uh, tool to be precise. Okay, left click and drag out to create a shape of this size like this. Okay, after we are done with that, you right click on the layer and head over to the blending option. So over here on the blending option, I would like to uh, change the gradient overlay color to be precise. So I'll scroll down here and uh, pick this for example okay and uh, here is the hex code for the color i'm using here we are using a few color of white okay while on this other end here we are using a few color of green here is the hex code so i'll click on okay 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 so after i'm done i'll set blending to normal opacity 100 check all this and make sure all your settings are as follows so head over to bevels and embolls and over here on bevels and embolls, you have to set the inner bevels as the style, set your technique to smooth, set your following settings as follows, make sure every other thing is set as follows. Uh, for the contour, we are making use of this particular contour here. Okay, and after that, to head over to uh, contour over here under bevels, and for this, we are using this to be precise. So I can choose to scale the range to 100, leave other settings the video uh, and click on the OK button. So we have this looking like this. So I can hit Ctrl T to transform and rotate the angle a little bit and click on the check button. Add a layer max to this. Pick your brush to make sure your foreground is set on black. The black enables us to hide uh, certain portions of this we don't actually need. Okay, so for this I'll be setting my flows to around uh, 50 so for this i'll be setting my opacity to around 50 for this particular uh, layer so i'll scale up the size and brush around something like this okay so after i'm done select the layer hit ctrl t okay right click and click on the warp okay so over here i'll come over here like this left click and drag out like this okay to create a shape like this if i'm good with that i can leave other settings the video really and click on the ok button okay this is the first uh, chrome effect design we just created so uh, we have to create another ellipse again by using the ellipse tool and create another one of this dimension this time around and uh, double click on it okay head over to the layer style and use the scene settings enable the bevel and balls enable the contour and enable the gradient but this time around we would like to change the gradient we are using for this to okay we we'll click on the gradient head over scroll down i have a preset of gradient i'll use over here here is the hex code for the color i'm using on this end to be precise on this other end here is the hex code for the color i'm actually using on this end okay so i click on okay okay Leave other settings the way they are. I'm using the same settings as this other contour I created or the other effect I created and click on OK. So after I'm done with that, I will rotate the angle okay to a good angle like this. Okay, check add a vector max and uh, can choose my brush and uh, scale up the opacity this time around to around 100. Okay, so this has to do with the ability to uh to be playful in terms of uh, creating whatever you want to create so i've increased the opacity and flows to 100 this time around okay 
foreground is on black and we are currently on the white max layer so i'll just come over here scale up and brush like this okay so i hit ctrl t right click and click on the warp to be precise i can create a warp of something of this nature to be precise and uh, okay and if i'm good i can choose to leave this like this okay and just play with it and see what i can get out of this and we are good to go so after i'm done with this like this maybe i can choose to leave it like this i can then choose to click on the ok button for this hit ctrl t rotate its angle and position it wherever i want to position it into my canvas okay so for the third uh, ellipse i can create another ellipse of this rotate its angle by hitting ctrl t okay double click on it to head over to the layer style and enable the bevels enable the contour head over to gradient overlay for this i will also change this to this color okay for this here is the hex code to the color on this end okay here is the hex code while on this other end here is the hex code for the color i'm using i click on ok ok leave other settings the way they are and we are good to go okay so i'll add a layer marks to this take my brush tool to be precise okay and uh okay the opacity is on 100 so i'll just brush out the foreground is on black the point three on the mark so for this i can choose to drag this like this okay hit ctrl t right click and flip okay and wrap rather and wrap and uh, you can play with it like this you can also play with this like this okay so you click on okay if that is actually okay for you then all you have to do is to ctrl t scale rotate and position them wherever you want to position them in your canvas if it's okay for you this way you place them this way into your canvas okay you can still scale them up to a size of your choice and we are good to go for this as well you can also select this hit ctrl t rotate its angle and uh, make some modifications okay by rotating this around this like this or so taking down this like this and positioning it into the canvas like this okay so that's for that and uh, finally and select this hit ctrl t scale this rotate the angle and uh, position it wherever you want to position it in the first place and we are good to go okay so i can choose to position it around somewhere here like this and uh, we are good to go okay that's for that i can choose to leave this like this or head over to my text tool to be precise left click and paste in the text called chrome uh liquify okay and scale it up for essence so i can just position this over here and we are good to go okay so guys that was how i was able to achieve this you can still modify the look of this okay by uh, applying uh your adjustment layer of color lookups for instance you go head over to color lookups and select a color lookups that might work perfectly well for you okay maybe this for example this gives it this feel okay but if you don't need this you can still add another effect of uh noise to be precise so i can hit ctrl shift n on the keyboard and change the name to noise change the blending mode to soft light enable the 50 percent gray and click on the ok right click and convert the layer to a smart object head over to filter uh noise and add noise to the precise we need the noise effect to appear on the effect if being needed okay so you can do that the way you want it this is more of you being creative and uh, being free as a creative person who you are okay so this is one of the ways you can go about doing this to be precise so ladies and gentlemen we've come to the end of this video if you do find it helpful do it to like comment and share with other creatives if you are new to the channel do it to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell guys 
for my returning subscribers thank you guys for always watching guys i really appreciate and see you in the next